Amplifiers really, I mean, are almost a musical instrument in themselves. You know, it's the voice of the amp, it's the voice of your guitar and your tone, and it just gives you that freedom of expression, if you like. Being able to do that, it's, it's, a, it's pretty cool. I'm Dave Clark, I'm R&D manager at Vox Amplification Limited. Vox is a guitar amplification company. We've been around for 55 or odd years now. The Vox sound is really crazy. I mean, we've been using vacuum valves since the beginning, because in the 50s, that's what existed. Even in the newer designs, we're using vacuum tubes, of course, but we're also using, you know, DSPs and we're using, you know, modern technology to bring modern day convenience to our products. We take care of the whole product right from scratch, right to the final um, final production. Pretty much, I have Altium Designer open almost all day. Altium is, is, you know, so intrinsic to, you know, to that design flow right from the beginning. Altium Design has really helped us collaborate with Japan um, in the fact that, you know, we can have almost a 24-hour development cycle because, you know, I can work on something, finish it, pass it over to the Japanese and then they can continue it and then I take it over in the morning. It's quite a nice safety net to have, really. Time to market for us is incredibly important and with Altium Designer, what I've found is our development time compared to our old development package has been cut in half. And what that means is that gives us that competitive advantage to get to market faster than our competitors. What I've found with previous packages, I've spent a lot of my time hacking, basically, to try and get them to work nicely with each other. Without him, I don't have to think about that, which makes me happy. My time is spent developing the product, which is ultimate, that's the ultimate goal, that's, that's the goal, not to be trying to make this product work. And because it just works, my time is dedicated to development and R&D and creation of, you know, the next generation of products, which uh, makes me happy. One of my favourite things about Altium Designer in the PCB environment is actually the hug and push of traces. Let's say, for example, I've designed a PCB, but, oh, it's one of those days and you've made a mistake and you've missed out a component or something, or you wired up a component the wrong way around, something. But, hug and push. Hug and push will be able to just basically plough in Parting um, the traces and then, you know, you can route your trace in. And for me, that's one of the things that I loved to just be able to rework designs. It just meant that I got things done quicker. Another cool thing is the integration with um, 3D CAD packages. So they can export that PCB as a step file. I can import that into my mechanical design package and it kind of cuts out that middleman. I don't have to create a 3D model of a PCB, which is what I had to do in the past. Now, I just have a file, it's created, Altium does it for me, there you go, you know, and I don't have to think about it. The Altium Designer subscription um, for me is, is really important in the fact that, I mean, we've been subscription customers since the beginning. Um, I mean, we, we do other subscriptions with, you know, other packages, and it, for us, it's really important that we have the most up-to-date software. As far as, you know, the company's concerned, you are, in the long term, you're saving money because you're saving time and you're, you know, you're always on the forefront of the latest technology. Using Altium Designer makes sense to me because it cuts my development time or has cut my development time significantly. If you want to increase your productivity, get Altium Designer. If you just don't want the headache of other products that don't have unified environments, buy Altium Designer.